Hi everyone, in today's video what I'm going to show you is how to use Discord either on um, your computer or on your mobile device, um, particularly for those people who use Zwift and particularly for those in Coach Newport's Team DBS. Um, to get through to the Team server what you need is a link, so you can get that either from uh, someone who's already part of the team or the server um, admin and what you'll do is you'll put that into a browser and it'll um, take you through to either the mobile app and open up the the team server or if you're on your computer it will open up the uh, computer version of Discord. Uh, what it will bring you to is a kind of a home page like this one as you can see um, kind of the channels are split into two groups one for text channels and one for voice channels generally text channels is similar to um, kind of a WhatsApp group or an iMessage group, that sort of thing. You can post you just have a, um, a text chat. The other ones are there for voice channels. So that's where you would join um, kind of like a room um, with other people and they can um, hear you as you're going along. Generally those are used for when we're doing a group session or a race where quite a lot of us are turning up together or, or for a team time trial where we're saying, you know, I, I'm going to um, take the pull on the front or I'm knackered, which is more often um, more kind of useful um, for those sorts of sessions. Um, so what you would do if you want to join the voice channel, what you do is click on any of these. Um, so there we go, I've clicked onto the general one, it'll open up uh, join voice. Okay, so you click that button, you get a little um, little um, sound there and shows you the people that are in the channel. So it's only me at the minute. Um, so um, what you can do is you can kind of swipe up to expand it or kind of you know, swipe down to uh, dismiss it but I'm still in the um, still in the um, still in the chat there so what you'll um, what you'll have is when, I, when I'm in the chat when I'm in the channel um, what you can see is the people who are talking people can hear each other is when you get like a little green ring around um, the avatar for that individual so here it's by my voice activity that people can hear me I want to change that because I've got like a big fan in the room uh, blowing against the microphone or my turbo has got an um, annoying squeak on it. What I can do is I can click the cog, uh, I click the cog um, and there's a different input mode. Um, I'll change input mode in a minute but I'm on voice activity. Um, what you can do is if you've got a bit of a hum in the room or a bit of a squeak or whatnot, you can change the sensitivity along this slider. So when I stop speaking there's probably a hum from my uh, computer as you can see there's that little orangey bit flowing. So what I need to make sure is that slide is above there um, so that when I speak it only picks up when my voice is over the um, over the hum of the fan of the computer. So sometimes I kind of, particularly when I'm riding, I have that on quite high because the fan's on and the, um, and the, and, you know, the turbo's wearing in the background. What I can do though is I can change the input mode from voice activity to push to talk. Um, so I click that. Then what happens there is when I'm back on the on the kind of the channel screen, I people will only hear me when I push to talk. So when I press this button down here, see I go green um, until I lift off that button. So that's quite important. If you only want to hear people when you're you know when you really when you really want them to hear you, um, press push to talk. Okay, so that's quite important, particularly if you've got other background noises going on, or you've got kids coming in and out, that sort of thing, that's really handy. Okay, so that's on the cog button, input mode, push to talk. Also, some of the times now is that they've got some voice processing it down here. You can have noise suppression, so that's quite handy. So you can put, you can switch that on, and again, the computer kind of uh, figures out what's going on there, or the app does, um, to suppress the background no uh, noise from the microphone. I prefer push to talk. Um, and that works out quite well. So generally, if it's quite busy, um, you know, push to talk is, is quite handy. On smaller on smaller groups, you can all share a video, similar to a Teams call or, or a, um, a Zoom meeting. You can go on mute and just mute yourself all the time. Um, but the problem I find is that if you, after a couple of minutes, the screen will go off um, and you've got to open up the screen, particularly when you're riding, that's quite difficult. So probably what you would need to do um, if you're on a ride, you're not going to make, and there's not that much background noise, you would, could go on um, voice sensitivity, just make sure you shout. Um, in my particular instance, uh, my turbo room here is right next to my son's bedroom, so I generally go on push to talk and just make sure I keep pressing the screen to uh, make sure it doesn't go on the lock screen. When I'm done, 
um, in the group I want to leave just press press the big red button there and you've left so that's a quick introduction on how to use discord and how to join it and some of the settings in there what I'll do is I'll do another uh, a separate follow-up video where there's some extra settings you can do on your Windows uh, device I assume it's the same on a Mac uh, but when I'm running um, Swift on my um, on my PC which I generally do and run discord on my PC it's really handy um, I find it better than the um, than the app because like I said the screen closes down um, and you can have a, like an on-screen um, image an overlay during the Swift array, uh, array so all right so I'll show you that in that in a follow-up video make sure you watch that and um, hopefully um, you found this useful if you did give it a thumbs up um, and uh, add a comment if you've got any questions okay uh, thanks for joining and see you in another uh, how-to video in the near future thank you bye